So, the animation keyframing workflow inside Unity has now changed, and in this case I want to animate the hovering ship ready for action. So, ordinarily I would select the ship and create an animation. If I select here, in my animation folder, I'm going to call this uh, hovering. And immediately, as soon as I drag into my animation timeline here, you can see it turns blue instead of red. So we're not defaulting to the keyframe recording mode anymore, um, but we can manually set a keyframe by right clicking up here in the transform or whatever we want to animate and adding a key. Uh, we could move forward to another frame, we could move it up in the uh, Y there, and we can manually either add key, key all modified from these components, um, like so, and then we immediately have a keyframe added, or we can of course return back to our auto keying um, a recording mode by then setting a keyframe um, in the manner of moving the object to automatically put that in. So I can see immediately there, I've got my keyframes. Uh, in this case, I probably want to copy and paste the first so that I can uh, return to the same position like so. So if I now have a little look at that, it's hovering. It's a little bit on the far side, so I might want to um, stop it and drag all of those and use the ability to scale those out um, all together uh, which is nice so that slows it down a little bit and um, I could have a look at the curves obviously here to see where the ship travels uh, but the important point here is that you now have the ability to select what and where you want to keyframe your object uh, in addition to the auto keyframing mode accessible here by the right click uh, menu. Uh, 